caller do you have a song? I've got it. Thank you. And then do we have any public invited to be heard? Has everyone had a chance to look at the minutes from last time? So from the August 21st meeting? This one, I'd like to correct. Uh, 2024.66 photographic bill screw it. It's actually a. Oh, yes, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs>
for some time. I'm that tomorrow. Um, I gave an interview with Denver 7, uh, Newton's TV News, about Johnson Station, which opened last Friday. Uh, they wanted some background history to fit into their piece that was highlighted. Uh, we have two new CU interns, uh, one working here at NCC with Eileen. Uh, she is taking photos of the textile collection, which is a really fabulous collection. Uh, so it's really great to be able to see that uh, on our new base. And I'm working with Sarah Kress on uh, various uh, archival projects with the archives. We have some new storage racks, which we'll probably walk by later. And um, we'll be hosting a meeting of the Sesquicentennial Commission. The 150th Yeah. Uh, semi quicentennial shows is we've done a big shift in how we run our summer camps. 
So it used to be we did a lot of them with contractors, and so you know we had to pay those contractors most of what we brought in and uh, registration fees. But we've hired temporary staff to teach the majority of our camps now, which means we keep a much greater percentage of the revenue, and so that then goes back into the education program allows us to support other uh, programs that um, So you can see uh, in this graph of 2023 versus 2024 camp revenue, we went from basically keeping about 55,000 in revenue to keeping over 100,000. Right. And you know, we do have to pay out the uh, costs to pay our staff, but it's significantly less Basis as opposed to a per student basis uh, and supply. I have a question. Yes. Um, the Sunset Story is like a very expensive experience. Did you was. break even? Or? Um, so the ticket sales basically, we priced the tickets so that they would pay for uh, all of the uh, costs associated with the meal and the band and the drinks and all of that. Okay. Uh, so everything that we raised at the paddle raiser was straight from straight from yeah. That's right. Yeah, in fact, um, I think we ended up uh, even the ticket sales we made a small profit on that and crunched all the final numbers and uh, were for Yeah, so it was Sorry, Oh no, that was a great question. <laughs> Public Places uh, illustration of one of the new artworks that will be in Fox Meadows Park. Do you know yourself yet? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just think for a minute. We're looking at those at 15 feet out here or something. Mm -hmm. Are kids going to be trying to find them? You know, that's actually one of the things that all of our sculptures have to go through is a review by the risk management department. And so, um, they usually try and look at to make sure that the base is tall enough where a kid can't really climb up onto it or there's no good handholds. Uh, so they work very closely with the artist to make sure that it's uh, not a climbable structure. Uh, we've got some artwork now that unfortunately is climbable, and so we have big signs do not climb on those, but going forward, they're pretty much designed on the Great question. Uh, auditorium is, should be quiet in August, um, but it has geared up. We've got our three uh, concerts out in Fort Worth in September, and then in October we'll move inside to the auditorium. Talked about the soiree. Uh, under visitor services, just a note of the difference again between the uh, attendance for our exhibit last year, agriculture, and one this year, Lego, is almost tripled the attendance uh, in the summer. Now, in the fall, now that kids have gone back to school, we're seeing a uh, pretty significant drop off, which, which we expect. Uh, still, still strong. Marketing, if you haven't checked out the city's new website, uh, definitely much nicer feel, much nicer look than the old website. So, uh, easier to navigate and uh, uh, elegant design for the city lights. Do you get it like a dead end, especially on the same set lights? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's been a work in progress. The transfer over was, was a little rockier than we had hoped. Volunteer and evaluation coordination. Uh, thank you all. Hopefully, everybody got your uh, volunteer appreciation baskets. Awesome. Uh, yeah. um, and uh, 
I will, I think, at a future meeting, maybe share more about the uh, survey of museum doors that we do every year with the American Alliance of Museums. We've been doing it for four years, so we're now able to see some trends and things and what, uh, what we see from our audience. Uh, and it's really a very well done professional uh, survey that we want to. Questions on the director? Um, so I thought the story was great. Um, I had a couple of thoughts. The line getting in was uh, into the parking lot. Is there anything we can do about that? Well, that was one of the things we talked about uh, uh, in our sort of debrief afterwards. Is I think our plan is to actually have a check in inside. Um, so we were limited somewhat by just the amount of power and so forth outside. So we'll have more stations to check in and we'll have a line that we'll be able to serve, you know, drinks and appetizers as people are waiting in the line if it does get too long. So um, we definitely, that was, that was one we had not really anticipated how long it would take for folks to uh, go through. So um, sorry, appreciate everybody's patience with that piece. Work through to make it both more efficient, and if you are uh, waiting in the line, hopefully you'll be able to have a drink or an appetizer in your hand while you're waiting. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, One piece of feedback was um, the video, which was awesome, it was so great. And I was also sitting back from the students on the video of it, um, but it needs to be set up. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, very good point. So if you didn't hear that, the voice in the video was actually an artificial intelligence voice. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I like, when I first heard it, I was like, oh, what did we get? I don't recognize that <laughs> voice. Uh, <laughs> schedule an event in the fall when there are so many other events stacked around it and uh, so yeah we had to make a, a difficult choice to, to have it on very early day. That's something we will try and avoid. You know, the other day we're looking at probably rethinking that event for future years, maybe not having the one big event but having some smaller events. Um, still still trying to explore that. Yeah, it does always tend to fall right around. Uh, so, the day of the day. So, the reason we don't do that, well, the first year we had it outdoors, we had it on that uh, November 1st, and uh, you know, we had snow and ice, and it was just very cold event. So, uh, working with our community partners, we said, no. I think if it's going to be an outdoor event, it needs to be when the weather is hopefully a little nicer. And we've been very lucky in the last couple of years to have great weather for the outdoor event. As I say, it's an event that, that probably needs to evolve in some ways. We've had the beef, and we thought it was really well done. We're starting that. Yeah, that so, oh, back to the back soiree. To the yeah, yeah. The Spice of Life catering does, does an amazing job. Yeah, they did a great job. Yeah, of course, you have to be able to add to the 
heading down here. So if, if you're interested, I can share a link to that. Okay. So that would be available on the same website. Um, I believe so, because it would have been presented to City Council. That budget will be being reviewed by City Council. Usually, they review it um, in October in detail. Uh, it's a high level review already in September. More, more information now. Uh, the approval will happen in October. Um, budget. Both uh, Bill, Lila, and um, 
their daughter have all passed away, uh, so their funds uh, basically all went to the charitable foundation, and that foundation is essentially uh, charged with uh, dispersing those funds out to the organizations that the Stewart family supported during their lifetime. So it's one, of the, uh, one of those are the museum, uh, the TLC Learning Center, and the uh, beneficiary of Stewart's uh, Longmont Public Library, it's uh, a number of other uh, charitable organizations. Students that fund like books for kids. Yeah. Steve Stewart and Karen was a big deal on the back of the Yeah, not really 